In this video tip, we'll look at locating and organizing your courses. We will also look at where to locate groups and how to customize the courses on your dashboard. When you log into My Classes, you will notice a global navigation menu on the left of your screen. In this bar, you'll find icons for your dashboard, courses, and groups. You'll notice that when you first log in, you often default to the dashboard icon. If your default is not the dashboard, then you can click on the dashboard icon to get there. You can also adjust the dashboard view by clicking on the stack dots icon in the top right corner. The dashboard as you see it now is the card view option. All active courses that you have access to are displayed on the dashboard by default. This can get a little crowded based on the number of courses in which you are enrolled. If you do not see a course on your dashboard when you log in, don't worry. The course may be listed under courses. If you click on the courses icon in the global navigation menu, you will get a sub-menu of options to choose from. At the top, the active courses that appear on your dashboard are listed. Beneath those courses, you will find an all courses option. We'll click on that link now. You will now see all of your courses displayed. They are broken down into all courses, past enrollments, and future enrollments. At the bottom of the page is a section for groups. You can click the link to access any of the courses or groups from this page. You will notice that your courses are organized in a table with the course title, a column for a nickname, the course term, how you are enrolled in this course, and whether the course has been published or not. Published courses are open and available for student and faculty interactions. You can customize your courses to decide which ones are visible on your dashboard by clicking the star symbol on the left. The star will turn yellow to indicate that it is selected for dashboard viewing. If the course is not available, such as a past enrollment, you may get a message that reads, this course cannot be added to the course menu unless the course is active. Past enrollments are typically only available to faculty. I have selected three courses to star. I can now expect to see these courses on my dashboard. I will click on the dashboard icon from the global navigation menu to see the results. Now that I can see the three courses I selected on the dashboard menu, I can customize them further by giving them nicknames, changing the course color, or moving them around if I so desire. An example of this is that my first course is a night class, and the last two are daytime classes. I may choose to make my night class indigo to indicate that it's later in the day, and my earlier class is yellow, meaning they're during the morning or afternoon. I will do so by clicking the edit icon in the top right of the course card. Be sure to click Apply to save the color change. I now have a visual indicator of which ones are at night and which ones are during the day. Colors can also be used to differentiate between a lecture and lab section, or for faculty, two sections of the same course. Now, let's suppose the titles of the two daytime courses are similar and I get confused between learning assistance training and whiteboard training. I can change the courses on my dashboard to have a nickname by clicking the edit button. I'm going to give my learning assistance training course a new nickname, orientation. Now I won't confuse the two, but you'll notice that if you hover over the link to the course, the official course name will appear. This is because I didn't change the name of the course itself, I only gave it a nickname on the dashboard. You are also able to change the order of courses on your dashboard. There are two ways to do this. First, click on the Edit button and click on the Move tab. You can choose to move the course to the top, up, down, or move it to the bottom. You can also click and hold down on the course card and drag the courses to your desired order. Under the Move tab, you will also have the option to unfavorite the course to remove it from your dashboard. If you click this option, you will receive a pop-up message that says, you are about to remove this course from your dashboard. It will still be available by navigating to Courses, then All Courses from the main menu. Now that I've made these changes on the dashboard, I'm going to click on the Courses tab in the Global Navigation menu. Notice that only the three courses that I chose to be on my dashboard are showing up in the Navigation submenu. If I unselect these three from the Courses page so that no courses are starred, all active courses will once again appear on the dashboard by default. Let's look at all courses again. 
You will now notice the orientation nickname next to the Learning Assistance Training Course title. You can use these customizations to quickly and easily find all courses that you are currently teaching or attending or that you will be utilizing for a future semester. You'll notice groups are the last item on the courses page. Any group that you are a member of through any course will display here. You can also locate your list of associated groups by clicking the Groups tab in the Global Navigation menu and selecting All Groups from the submenu. Thank you for watching this tip. Please refer to the Canvas Guides for more information.